você And the burdens of my heart Of my Rolled away It was there It was there
Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody. Come on in into this service. You're welcome. Prophet John Aga here. Welcome each and every one of you tonight in the name that is above every other name. Feel at home at the presence of Jesus. It's only at the presence of Jesus that we can be able to really feel at home. Welcome tonight. It's another session, it's another time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Spirit of God. There were all together like this in one place in the upper room waiting for the promise from on high Jesus said that he would come said their souls are flame that he will set their hearts, their hearts on fire. Mm. Suddenly he comes, the sound of a mighty rushing wind. Their souls are filled with flame. To them give he the power when they call upon his name. Suddenly, can feel his mighty power. Suddenly, feel the void within. And I know that I will never, never be the same again. all of you tonight in the name of Jesus feel at home never let your heart become troubled no need to be afraid it's power in God's presence his mighty hand is ready to do even tonight it's power in God's presence there's healing in His Word. Open up your mouth and begin to talk to God right now. Get yourself ready for the Word of God in the name of Jesus. So my friend, trust in the Lord and in His Word. Age to age is still the same. Sudden, 
suddenly. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody. Good evening, good morning in other jurisdictions. We welcome you into this service tonight. We want to come to pray tonight in the name of the Lord. We began earlier in dealing with the book of Job, uh, chapter 5 and verse 12, that he will frustrate the devices that have been prepared by the wicked, and that he will disappoint them, and that he will disapprove the devices of the crafty, so that their hand cannot perform their enterprise. Tonight, we're going to pick up from there where we left part two of this. Get ourselves ready to charge in prayer. The Spirit of God, we came to pray. This is a conference for prayer. It's really a convocation for prayer. Really nothing more than just coming into the session. Give a charge and get us ready to pray. Seek the Lord on the behalf of the nation, community, family yourself the Lord will not leave you alone even as you pray he's going to come to you he's going to minister to you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus ah, blessed be thy name and I stand Order 
of the flesh. And then he says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. In other words, they are not in the order of the flesh. What he explained up there, he says, But mighty through God to the pulling down, number one, of strongholds. Number two, casting down imaginations. Number three, every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Jesus. Number four, bringing into captivity every thought in obedience to Christ. Verse six it says, and having in a readiness to revenge or to judge, to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is complete. So tonight in the name that is above every other name, we come to pray. But before we get into prayer, let me drop a thought here a little bit for you. Let me drop a thought here. Imaginations are not spoken. More especially if they are imaginations that come from the arm of the flesh. The word imagine, as I said earlier in the day, stands to reason from the depiction. The root word is logismos or logizomai. And what logizomai is where we get the word that, uh, in the English version, logic. So if someone tells you that is not logical or if they tell you uh, uh, what you're saying does not make any logic whatsoever, what they are saying is, is that we have taken an inventory, we have analyzed what it is that you're saying. It means to also to impute and to despise. Logismos from the root word logizoma. It also means to use the conscience. The conscience is also to conceit. Same word. It is also means to cast as passions. Uh, and Paul beginning to talk, beginning to teach on spiritual warfare. He says, for you to get to know that the enemy works in the realm of the flesh. He says, for though you walk in that dimension of the flesh as a human being, your body is not glorified yet. You walk in the similitude of men. In that dimension, the headquarters of the enemy is in that flesh. And he does not mean just the body in terms of physical, three-dimensional human being, feeling, uh, touching, sensing, and all that. He actually means that your mind, your mind, where your will is, where uh, imaginations are created, where imaginations are depicted, where men can be able to plant seed and harvest a reaction out of you without you noticing that a seed was planted there. He hmm. says, you walk in the flesh, not that you will walk after that flesh. There is another technology and another way to tackle that which is coming to you in the flesh. What is coming after in the order of the flesh. What is coming to bring about imaginations and to be to bring about aspersions and to work through your flesh and to work to despise the work of the cross and to despise your personality in Christ and who you is in God and, and to impute that you're not a son or to impute that you are not uh, good enough and to impute that your character has not been forged in the crucible of prayer. He says, now that you understand that you are in the flesh. I'm going to teach you something, Paul speaking. He says then, the weapons for you to tackle the things that come in the order of the flesh, you ain't going to get them from the flesh. Did I not read it to you yesterday, Hebrews chapter 11? He said, by faith, now we understand 
that the things which do appear, the things which do appear, were never, ever, were never made, were never made from the things that do exist. The things that do exist right now were forged by another reality someplace. Is the reality of the supernatural? Is the reality of heaven? Is the reality of the second uh, heaven? Is the reality of that there is a spiritual world that really exists and that all life is spiritual and that all dimension of human personage and sphere where you will interact with men that there is another force that need that controls their action reaction and uh, all manner of things that you see on television in on facebook on at your community and whatever you need to sit back and begin to trust that though they walk in the flesh the administration of what it is whether good or bad is coming from another dimension of understanding I join Paul the apostle and he says the weapons then to deal with the things that come out of the flesh he says they are not carnal matter of fact he's actually denying that if there be any weapon whatsoever that we'll have to use to deal with the arm of the flesh it will never have to come and it will never ever come from your uh, intellect and from how you think and uh, now that you are deep in terms of your thinking uh, maybe you're too deep in terms of intellectual capacity god has given a brain he says as it regards the stuff that i'm about to mention the stuff that comes out of another realm you, you can put away your intellect and your ivy league you can put away your beauty and you can put away your life experience it don't count in the realm in that realm it is spirits that control that realm and if you have to enter there then to work out your salvation with fear and trembling if you're going to come out with solutions and uh, deliberations and come out with uh, a white paper and come out with a research paper you've got to come into another dimension and then he begins to introduce it he says it is not carnal that weapon has to be mighty in someone and that someone is god he says it has to be mighty in god to the pulling down the way the weapon is it is adorned and it is manufactured by God. It's manufactured by the source of all life. It's manufactured by Abba. It's manufactured by Adonai, Jehovah, Zekeno, the mighty God of war. He knows the instruments which he can be able to fashion. The work of the believer is to subscribe to the government of the spirit and begin to know that it is mighty but in God, not mighty in intellect, not mighty in words, ah, not mighty in the things of experience of life, ah, sword, S-O-D, ah, that life experience that has taught men, their dimension of wisdom, and one of them is S-O-D, which is called sword, experiential wisdom. So you don't have to tell your dad how life is, he, that's why he is your dad. Uh, 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 he's been there, done that, uh, got a t-shirt for it. He has sword, S-O-D. He's got experience. He can tell you, sir, I was here before the flag was hoisted for independence. I was in the first uh, world war. I was in the veterans club. I was in Mississippi crossing over and fighting for the liberation. I was there. I went uh, to Vietnam. I, I was in the liberation of the Second Republic in Kenya. I was part of this and that the one they explaining to you is sword. Here, Paul says, for what it is that is going to come after you in the order of the flesh. Ladies and gentlemen, he says, the weapons have to be mighty in God to the pulling down of strongholds the pulling down of strongholds you are gonna excuse me one minute i'm gonna put something on on my camera here um, Thank you for 
that indulgence. We are good now. Hear me. The weapons that are coming after a believer and a saint. And tonight we're going to deal deeply with this, even in prayer. He says, it is mighty in God to the pulling down. So the assignment of the weapon is to pull down. Jerry was told in Jeremiah chapter 1, I have assigned you, Jerry, ordained you from thy mother's womb to be a prophet. But the caricature, the characterization, uh, the matching orders, the, the what it is that you're about to do in thy office as a prophet is that you will pull down and plant. You will plant and pull down. Oh yes, you will overturn and then we'll begin to plant. He says this weapon is assigned for men and women in the kingdom of God to the pulling down of stronghold. If the stronghold was in Zion, there'll be no need to fight. There'll be no need to pull down anything. If uh, the stronghold was Zion, the Bible declared the stronghold of the garrison, the garrison of the Philistines rather, the garrison of the Philistines was a stronghold that was right in Zion in the days of David. He says to the pulling down of strongholds. Hear me, what a stronghold is is almost like trying to explain what a climate is. You know, there's a difference between weather and a climate. Weather isn't permanent. Weather is changing. Climate tends to be subtle, tends to be a little bit stubborn. Uh, that's why they say climate change, not weather change. Uh, 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 strongholds then in that order begins to mimic a permanent kind of infrastructure that is stayed up in the bloodline, uh, that is stayed up in your father's house and stayed up from your mama's house and does come to the children of your father's house and, and it is now come to you. It is also showing up. Uh, stronghold is a pattern uh, that has been climatized in someone else's house, uh, life or in a community or a house, a nation, a people. And so you you indulge me for a moment. If you go to Hawaii in the US, COVID, there is a certain way Hawaiians will behave. You come to New York You'll get to get to know New Yorkers from the way they speak, from the way they train, from the way uh, they conduct business. Go down to the other side of Mississippi and the, the, the majority of the black community all the way to Chicago, they have a way. Uh, what we determine or what we see, even in Africa, even in, in the coastal area from when some of us come from, if you get to Mombasa, you find a way of thinking, find a way of talking, find a way of talking and behaving, so find a way of eating, find a way of behavior. What that is, is not a climate that you can touch, no, but it's a stronghold. It has strung the men and the women in that community, all of them generationally, to behave in a certain way. That's why I thank God, my dad, got his wife from a different place and mama got uh, her husband from a different place because it is that kind of a cluster in the mixture that oh the assignment that God has given unto me can be able to find expression there is a reason why you was born but the way you was born there is a reason why you were born where you were born but in it as much as there is all the positives and all the goodies and, and all of the things that have come from where you've come from there is a place in the realm of the spirit where the flesh the arm of the flesh the arm of the flesh and 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 and, 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 and a stronghold will begin to have expression oh jesus oh my and so the target of the enemy is that he's gonna make a road and the devil is headed towards the mind the road is the mind there is something in the scripture called the wiles of the enemy. Ephesians chapter 6, it says, so that we can quench the fiery darts and that we can be able to stand against the wiles, the wiles 
Wiles, W-I-L-E-S, Wiles. Now, Wiles is a, is a methodology different from devices. Combined together, Wiles, devices, and what I've talked, I am talking to you tonight here, strongholds, imaginations, uh, 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 exalting thoughts that exalt themselves above the knowledge of Christ pulling down of every stronghold. They are all combined in one cluster, but they are isolated in their depiction. There is someone that can be under the, uh, uh, the, the, the yoke of a while of the enemy, which is a methodology that the enemy used. That word methodos is a Greek word of meta and odos combined together to make the word method, or method or methodology. Methodology. Meta. Odos, meta way, odos, order, a way of things working. So that depicts to you that the, the enemy is very cunning and he is getting to put away with. So the word meta there is with. Odos will be a highway or a road or an order, a sophisticated way of working things. Remember the scripture during the day or in the other video. He said that he will frustrate the enterprise so that their hand cannot perform their enterprise. Yes, that word enterprise is a methodology, an organized way of conducting business, an organized way of dealing with humanity, an organized way of making sure that family is poor forever, an organized demonic way of making sure that those daughters don't ever get married and settle, make sure that nation is ever in debt perpetually, make sure they will always elect a program, the stronghold, the mindset of the people. They will always elect in terms of tribal affiliation and they will always elect giving no precedence even on the antecedents of the forefathers who failed. They cannot be able to come out of what it is that has held dear an entire community. Meta with Orders, order or road. So if you combine together, is the word trick, it is the word subtle, it is the word deception, it is the word cunning and crafty, is a methodology, is a road that the enemy is on uh, on the lookout. It's like um, the highway to uh, Area 51 and uh, sophisticated as it may in the US of A with all manner of uh, 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 police and um, highway patrol and CCTV. There is a way, but you don't see it. The way is there. The, 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 the highway uh, police uh, uh, high, uh, are out there, but they are parked somewhere. You can't see them, but they are monitoring you. It's a methodology to be able to track uh, 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 those who are going to jump over the fence and come out of Mexico and come out of uh, uh, San Jose and come out of uh, some other place. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And so you find out. You find out that all of a sudden there is a methodology. There is a methodology. Sorry about that, the music. Uh, I, I am sure I forgot to turn it down or something like that. Yeah, we apologize for that. I'm sure you can be able to hear me now. You can be able to hear me now. Alika Sofras Keveredush Alabarateli. Can you be able to hear me now clear? We apologize for that. Mm. For the weapons of our warfare are not canon. They are strong in the Lord to the pulling down of strongholds. Thank you. Now you can be able to hear me with Angong. Sorry about that. And now see this and then we pray. We are almost getting there. We are nearly there. 
casting down imaginations. Combine that with what we what we said in the earlier video, in the earlier video, devices uh, is an insidious plot and a plan and a way to make wicked schemes and to make it so subtle so that men can be victimized without them knowing and how do they victimize them in their mind so that you begin to think slow begin to think uh, 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 poor, poor and methodologies of coming out of poverty will always just to be thinking about stealing and, uh, and, 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 and robbing and, bang, and, and uh, gang bagging as they say uh, uh, in the US you begin to uh, join yourself so that you can just get out of what it is that has been on your neck for far too long and then all of a sudden you realize your uncle was like that grandpa was subtly used to live in the city grandpa was used to live in the village he was cunning can't be able to know why is it that there is a character like that in the bloodline the, the, the point is there was a methodology it was an organized way to bond all of the men and all of the daughters so that then all of you are thinking the same thing you can't be able to know what is frustrating the firstborn of the family why is it that we are all wanting just to have men that are outside of our reach and, 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 and you see, let me tell you the lie. Let me tell you the lie. I'm talking to women, especially in Africa. I don't know about the other places, but I know the same spirit works out there too. The lie is, just get a baby. Uh, all men are liars. Uh, just get a baby and uh, you'll be fine. And you'll have, you don't have to be married and you don't have to be uh, in a proper house and don't have to. And you see the, the, the thing and the voice that is talking to that girl and to that woman, even through the influence of peer pressure and company and uh, or what it is that uh, people ingest from social media and take in from learning and whatever it is, uh, that devil has not whispered regarding that baby. You don't have him, you don't have her yet. And the enemy is whispering through the methodology. The insidious plan is to give you half truth. And so he brings it packaged in a very good way. Just get a baby, you'll be fine. Ah, don't you see the other one has just been fine? Oh yeah, oh yeah, just just keep on slipping around and uh, try your luck. And uh, you might uh, be able to beat the barrenness. And, and many have been taught by the wiles of the enemy the methodology of the enemy the deceptive mechanism just go to an altar in Ukambani in Tanzania in uh, in in, in uh, Sangoma in Namibia uh, Lesotho in uh, South Africa and and, and just uh, uh, let the water be poured and uh, libation and this and that and maybe if you need it really to get going you can be so deceived to sleep with a Sangoma and uh, sleep with a bearded man that has no character or no face whatsoever and the carnality that has come from the deception it has used the appetites of your flesh said walk ye not then we are walking in the flesh but we are not after the order of the flesh for the weapons of our warfare not carnal to the mighty to the mighty but mighty to through god to the pulling down of strongholds is a methodology that the enemy uh, is talking to some young man and find yourself uh, a, a drug and let me just whisper to you let me just whisper to you uh, as it regards the the point is let me whisper to you tell you use a drug and use a, a, a what do you call bang and meth get a high and, 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 and get yourself in the labyrinth of how high to be high is. Feel it. And behind uh, the statement and the Monica and behind uh, uh, the, 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 the paradigm, behind the shadows um, is a hooking spirit that will make sure that it will be permanent. It becomes now a climate which is called now a stronghold. And then you can't get out. 
So what is the method that the kingdom gives? What is the method that the kingdom gives? What is the method that the spirit gives? He says, casting down imaginations. The weapons are too strong to be able to pull down. The weapons of your warfare are not carnal, but they are strong and mighty in God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down logizoma imaginations and every high thing. Let's dwell there a moment and then we pray. Every high thing. He just finished talking about imagination. And then he goes to another thing. He says every high thing. See, there are high thoughts and then there are low thoughts. There are high places and then there are low places. There are high offices and then there are low offices. In other words, it stands to reason that if it is a weapon from the Spirit of God that needs to deal in the realm of the Spirit, what it is that is confronting there is a high thing. Not a low place, not a low thing, not a low thought, not a low idea. Whatever it is that the enemy is manufacturing to exalt itself as a high thing, you better believe it, is a mighty thing. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Kalima Rus ele kebres kovadini pia anakantele. Sadini biantele keme kuskabara salivine maante. Give you an example. Baba declared, he pulled up Jesus in Luke chapter 4 as a tempter and opened his eyes to a portal and he said, I will give this, all of this is given unto me. All the kingdoms and the glory therein have been handed over to me. I can give it to you, Jesus. Bow. Before that, he had mentioned to him, you've been fasting and praying 40 days. I am coming in the order of the flesh. I am the master in that realm. Turn the stones to bread. Feed yourself. Now that you are the son of God, you don't need to go through the protocol. Uh, you don't need to go and honor your father and the rules of engagement. Just break a few. Break the protocol and prove a point. Show thyself that you are anointed. Flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not wrestle or we do not war after the flesh is a high thing the enemy was suggesting prove yourself just ma manifest show them a little bit show them a little bit show 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 me show me you got something you can you can work it out manufacture bread and right here let us just feast you have to be careful ladies and gentlemen it's a deep teaching that i can't really be able to exhaust and we want to pray tonight because then there are high places and high things that have exalted themselves. And the Baha'i but declared, the weapons that the Spirit of the Lord has given unto you are strong in the Lord to the pulling down of strongholds. In other words, to be able to transcend weather and get into the depth of climate of what it is that has been acclimatized of, over your life and over our nation. That is what he says. There is a weapon that you've been handed over to the word of the Lord. Ephesians 6, the Bible declared, put on the full armor of God that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Oh yes, it says, put on the shield of faith that you can be able to deal with fiery darts. Put on the helmet of salvation to cover thyself. Put on the shoes readiness to speak the word of truth. Oh yes, put on the belt of truth. I uh, put on the breastplate of righteousness and then he says take now also the sword of the spirit that you can be able to deal the sword is for cutting it's not for shield the shield is of faith the sword is to be able to deal with what I'm dealing with tonight ah uh, carnality to deal with strongholds to deal with every high thing mm. high places is where high things are high places is how, where high things are like you too uh, when i'm gonna stop there we'll pick it up tomorrow by the grace of god i'd like you to open up your mouth and tell the lord what it is that i've had even in that charge a little bit of that charge i want to make use of it my father and my god as i begin to pray i know 
that my flesh is weak, but you can strengthen me even tonight. I don't want to subscribe to my flesh. My intellect, my will, is too small to handle the vagaries of life and to handle the arrows that the enemy is throwing at me. That is why my mind cannot be able to settle on one thought. I'm super confused when I wake up in the morning or at night a day. Something is about in my mind. Something is using logizomai. Is using is as a, is, is 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 concluding for me. Is casting out uh, thoughts and ideologies that do not subscribe to the kingdom of the Christ. And tonight I come, I come, I come, I come, I come to submit myself to the government of the Spirit of God. Cleanse me from the inside out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I pull down my crowns. I lay them at the altar. I lay myself my body I lay the flesh I lay down I lay down I lay down ideas ideologies thought patterns that come from my father's house oh yes they say I look like the old man I talk like him and I'm almost behaving uh, like uh, the with the proclivities that he had. I come, I come, I come. I am baptized in the Spirit. I am baptized in the baptism of the Spirit. I don't want to look uh, like I'm making it and I am failing in the inside of uh, 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 in the inside out. I bow my knees to the Lord Jesus Christ. I pull down uh, every stronghold mindset that has been in me. Lord Jesus, oh my methodology, methodos, uh, a way that the enemy has used to, to put me down under Oh yes, my way of thinking. I have exalted me. I have thought about me. I can't be able to think about others. I've become too selfish because I have lifted myself to be a high thing. Oh yes, I am too special to be hurt. Too special to apologize. Too special to say sorry. Too special to give. Too special. I am the only one that can be able to receive. To receive. I need to win the argument. And so I'm always right. High thing, high things, high things, high thing. It exalts itself above the knowledge that you carry in your spirit. And so the Holy Ghost cannot find expression in a nation with a Christian and a three million or four million or five million of men that have access to their what it is that is their ego is what it is that is expressing as Christianity and is having expression everywhere. Niki suka patulia kaina mase and topas cobra katale kiri di atolia kaita la caprasco fatente. I pull down the stronghold in my mind. I have used the flesh to judge character, to judge issues, and I've misplaced my judgment many times. I have I have lost the battle. I have always been wrong because I use the wrong lenses to judge. I come tonight. I come standing in the need of prayer. Milakus inimital. Manke beduska bagadua, katitika patuske peketele, maruske preskida vai, and tabada gede gedela, ketuske preketele, a kaida da baarada, escopa kada da ba antele kebe gedani, kupa katuske preketele, a katuske freke de beranta, esomanantele kia parasko. Pray, 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 sir. Pray, ladies and gentlemen, pray in the name of Jesus. Tell the Lord, help me before you begin casting out, before you begin talking about neighbors and dealing with society and be dealing with transformational prayers for the country deal with yourself because they say though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh the weapons of warfare are not carnal you've used carnality ideologies intellect and all manner of uh, uh, thought patterns stuff that you've accumulated over the years um, from television education from parentage and parent and being parented and growing up um, and it has built up in your spirit and uh, built up in your soul and built up from your canal from your carnal mind uh, which is an enemy of God the scripture declared uh, it can never ever be able to please God that is why people are walking with no testimony people are walking in the kingdom of God uh, walking towards destiny nothing to show for frustrated uh, while still anointed frustrated still exclaiming Jesus is Lord and holding on to an uh, to, to a testimony that they are waiting for a mighty long time um, and the reason why that is is because carnality is what is ruling and it, the work of the flesh is having expression but Jesus oh my 
weapons of our warfare are not canon to the pulling down of strongholds. Yes, 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 yes. Oh yes, you need to know the scriptures for you to fight that devil, for you to know what it is that has been willed to you. You need to be a student of the scripture. The reason why you are not is because the carnal mind is frustrating your spiritual experience to tell you you don't need that word. Go and listen to a preacher and just uh, uh, tap in to the frequency of the moment. And then the enemy is waiting at home. He's not in that broadcast. He's not in the service. He's waiting at the office, at work. Oh yes, he's waiting. So open up your mouth and tell the Lord tonight. Open up your mouth and tell the Lord. I cast down my crown. I've exalted me thought to myself, I am doing good, so I don't need prayer. It's become a high thing. Uh, I thought that I've been so victimized. I, I thought to myself, I've been so victimized, I cannot make it. And everyone around me has to walk uh, as if they're stepping on eggshells. They have to be careful with what they say to you because you're too important, too cool, and too blessed, and too educated, and, or too poor, too victimized. It's become a high place. It's become a high thing. And so you are everywhere with everything and everybody still lonely oh still lonely still broken in the inside it has become a high thing you are too obsessed with what it is that you need to do with the substratum of the few years that God has given you you have forgotten that there is a kingdom you belong to you don't even know that Lord that reigns in that kingdom all it is that you're using that Christianity and that religion as it were if it is a religion really you're using a relationship it's become abusive using God to accumulate and to get what it is that you want and then you can figure out your name is written in the book of life we can as well meet in heaven it has become a high thing your need has become a high thing your brokenness has become a high thing your children can become a high thing your love life can become a high thing your loneliness can become a high thing oh yes the abundance can become a high thing Open up your mouth and pray. Kalimaros ebresko vadika pai. You can tell the ketos kaparade de biras kadeve. I lay down at the altar. 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 The stronghold in my father's house that makes women look like me, that makes aunties look like me, it makes grandchildren look like uh, from where we come from. Oh yes, a stronghold, a pattern of thinking, a methodology that the enemy has put, uh, uh, an insidious plan uh, to rob in every daughter, to rob in every man. Uh, oh yes, so that we can always be born out of wedlock and bastardized and can't be able to know who daddy was, can't be able to have a relationship with mama because daddy was a rolling stone. Hey, 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 and the brothers and the daughters now are coming after the order of that stronghold. We decree and declare tonight in the name of the Lord. Let that pattern be broken. Let that pattern be broken. Let that pattern be broken. Let that pattern be destroyed. Let that yoke be destroyed. Let that veil be lifted. Let that veil be lifted. Let that veil be lifted. Open up your mouth and pray. Tradition is a pattern, is a stronghold, is rampant in Africa, rampant in Kenya with African, with dialects and communities, rampant tradition. You find believers struggling with tradition, struggling with the renewal of their mind because that insidious plan, the methodology, the imagination, Lord Jesus, oh my, it has consented you. You've been puffed up religiously, been puffed up intellectually, been puffed up from the community where you come from. And so we do these things this way from where I come from. I do this thing this way from where I am married. I do this thing this way because I am this and this in my tribe. Sir, you are far off from the kingdom male, 
far off from kingdom experience but if you can do business today in the place of the crucible of prayer and nail it at the cross and nail it to his cross and become a new creature you can walk out of here today having been empowered by the spirit of god that you can be able to deal now with the fundamental things that are running through the other bloodline brothers sisters you can begin to deliver them there is a difference sir. oh yes there is a mighty difference between kingdom and tradition in this kingdom there is its tradition and if you belong in the kingdom of god and in the kingdom of light there are things from your mama's house there are things from your daddy's house that you need to drop immediately that you've been baptized in the culture baptized in the system of the spirit open up your mouth and tell them tell the lord i lay down tonight every form of carnality i cannot be able to please god with my carnality yes deadness in terms of your fruit that is coming out of your life is what carnality is when they say you're so carnal it means your thinking has been influenced by the flesh and that that flesh has come under the subjugation of a stronghold a pattern that has you subscribe to whether you know it or you don't and that is why there is so much fruitlessness there is so much fruitlessness there is no fruit to show for you know why it is hard to stay in the spirit the flesh is the headquarters of us passions the flesh is the place to prove a point the flesh is the place to show a high point in your life and to be consulted is that place alika sovara damano koske pegeda dia kaita la marada Tell the Lord tonight. And the katus kepeketa de ya kai kabarasko pakatale. Kamante kabasko bakatunia. Meki makaski batalo wakarata kabaras kepekete. I hold on to the horns of the altar. Oh, lest after I've preached to others, I be a castaway. I keep his salam paros kepegede. By my tradition, the Bible declared they hindered God. They limited the Holy One. Of Israel, he said the word that was spoken to them never benefited them. Oh yes, because how ah, oh, it was never mixed with faith. Ah, he said you have hindered the power of God by your tradition and of the many things that you've caused men to subscribe to. Speaking to the Pharisees, we decree and declare tonight in the name of Jesus, we bury every tradition. We bury every negative tradition. We have we bury every flesh and the arm of the flesh that has bathed a tradition. In the name of Jesus, that has made us to build up high places. We have been captive to tradition, captive to religious tradition, captive to Catholicism, captive to Pentecostalism, captive to all forms. We begin to judge and to lift up a high place other than the Spirit of God outside the facility of the instruction of the Spirit of God. We come again as every knowledge that is not of God that has built in ourselves a mindset and a pattern and a way of expectation that faith is this and faith is that and that the blessing of the Lord is this and the blessing of the Lord isn't that. We come again as every high knowledge that has so far penetrated through our inner man to begin to conform us to worldliness, to begin to conform us to spiritual blindness, to begin to conform us to tradition. We bury it in this mountain. Kalipasko Pratali. Open up your mouth and tell the Lord. In this mountain of prayer tonight, I take every stronghold. By the anointing of God, I pull myself out of every thought, of every high thing, of every high knowledge that is against my God. Because the knowledge of God is progressive. The knowledge of God is day in, day out. He speaks to you. You begin to learn his ways. Moses was learned. He knew the ways of God. The children of Israel were stuck up in the acts of God. That is why they were puffed up. And God killed each and every one of them. Until a generation that entered into the promised land was never the generation that came out of slavery. High places. High things. High places. High things. Ah, the Bible declared casting down imagination. Imagination. What is it that men imagine against the Lord? Oh yes, there are people here that cannot be able to imagine a good thing. 
that imagination has been wrapped up, that been victimized. I'd like you to open up your mouth and tell the Lord, heal. Heal my creativity. Heal my imagination. Heal that subtle young boy. Heal that innocent young girl. Heal that innocent young girl that I was. Heal that innocent boy that I was. That was hurt by church. Hurt by a pastor. Hurt by a prophet. Hurt by an apostle. Hurt by daddy mama. The trauma that has penetrated through my system. The abuse that came through. And so I have come to the place where I've cast myself down all cast myself in negative light and we've put ourselves um, oh yes in a mindset we have taken an inventory and we figured we are not cannot be able to cut we cannot fit in that dimension in that class so we've subscribed ourselves to false humility we bury that in this mountain tonight we bury that in this mountain tonight we bury it out tonight in this mountain tonight we are no longer victims we are victors we come out of that mindset right now in the name of the lord we are coming out of that mindset right now in the name of the lord we are coming out of that mindset right now in the name of the lord open up your mouth and talk to god that is why it is easy to cast as passion and to begin to judge others by their action and you by your expectation because something within you is accusing you something within you is lacking and so you find it on the outside and if you don't find it, you begin to cast as passion. You become so negative, yet anointed. Become so negative, yet you look so meek and humble. You become so negative because you've been victimized. And your prayers are victim prayers. And you're all of things that you can't be able to have a decent conversation without jumping into conclusions about people. And you're always wrong about them because you're casting as passions. The root of that is in the arm of the flesh. Ladies and gentlemen, the Holy Ghost wants to help us tonight. The Holy Ghost wants to help us tonight. The Holy Ghost wants to help the church tonight. Casting down imagination, imagination Lord Jesus my. And every high thing, every high thing, every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. That demonic witch hunt, that demonic uh, 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 procrastination decision. You can't be able to make a decision and be able to move forward speedily. You can't be able to take risk by faith. You can't be able to speak your mind and, and people would listen. You, can, you, you have become disobedient even to the voice of God. You know what happens? You know what is sponsoring that? Lord Jesus oh my. It is a high thing that is building from the inside. It's a high thing. Too proud to listen. Too proud, too blessed to hear the word. Too blessed to be corrected. Now that you're the firstborn, now that you're blessed, mama can't talk nothing to you. Husband cannot be able to correct and can't be able to tell you anything. You are too democratic and too empowered now, a woman. Too empowered now, a man. Your daddy can't tell you nothing. You can't go back to the village. You can't have a decent conversation with your brothers that are not well off. Because now, a high thing has been exalted. Little bit of ching and chang. Little bit of yin and yang. Little bit of money is here. There pocket change really. That God has helped you with. You can't be able to be corrected. You become incorrigible. You be exalted. Oh yes, that marriage. Those children. Exalted. You've denied their grandfather access. Grand. Uh, 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 you've denied their daddy access. Doesn't matter what the condition has been. But the guy didn't kill you. He didn't abuse you. He's been kind. He's been kind, but because you've been empowered a little bit, now he has to come under strict conditions right now. And I'm speaking balanced here. I know the case of abuse and I know the case uh, in the children's court and I know the cases uh, that are in divorce courts and, and all manner of acts and laws that will be passed and that will be able to decode the mystery of that. But I'm speaking about exalting something above the knowledge. Of the knowledge. Every high thing must come down. 
Jesus has to be exalted. Jesus is the only one to be exalted. Jesus is the only one to be exalted. Jesus is the only one to be exalted. Alika sofra kataleka baranto and taking captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Taking into captivity every thought. In other words, your mind is wandering, is wandering all over town, all over in the place of prayer. You take it captive and you pray. Your mind is wandering, can't be able to study, can't be able to speak uh, uh, co uh, uh, coherently, can't be able to put your thoughts together. It's an attack of the enemy, it's an arrow that is getting shot. That is how people get into dementia in an earlier age and get into, uh, 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 what is it, mental states and, 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 and panics and, and be, can't be able to comprehend. There are many, many conditions uh, with that kind of a name. It's a demonic attack. There's no psychosis. It's a demonic attack. Aika soka pasko baratale. Famante kibarus kebreke tetele karida raba ash kabae. Malika sko prante leke mekos kavada dabante. Akupanka tete kia kaita leke breke tos kabarada. We undo every demonic complication in someone, people, in some, in, 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 in your lives tonight. In the name of Jesus, complications where the enemy has fortified your mind, fortified stronger than you can never be able to come into the place where God can use your life. And that God can bring destiny help us. You always look to man that you will look to God. His logizomai is a mind, is a way, a pattern of thinking. Drop it tonight, tell the Lord to help you. Malika sofaradidi bi atolia. Have you not found people in Zion that uh, you sit with them from the beginning to the end of their conversation? There is no place where God is mentioned. No place where the Spirit of God will be mentioned that I know He will intervene. It will always be about people. That, this one, that other one, and the other. This one, the other one. Until it's boring. Lord Jesus, my has exalted a high thing. I know God answers prayer in the realm of men, but men are subjected to the Father of all spirits. We, though we walk in the flesh, we wrestle not after the flesh. We don't war after the flesh. The arm of the flesh has become too strong in church. It has become too strong in the presence of the Lord, in the kingdom of God, that many cannot be able to have a testimony really. They have not understood how methodologies are, gra are crafted in the deep, in the deep end of the spirit, living carnally, thinking carnally, worshiping carnally, studying the word carnally, praying carnally, and they have no idea that the enemy has desensitized their spiritual senses and he has made them passive to the reality of what it is that he is doing. Bringing every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. In other words, anything that does not reflect the Christ in my thinking, in the way I perceive, in the way I address, in the way I handle a dispute in marriage, in relationship with children, if it does not come to the governance of the Spirit of God, it is a high thing. It is a thought, it is an insidious thought that has been projected from the realm of darkness. That is how people get divorced. That is how people get into irreconcilable differences. Because one, the enemy is frustrating and is working through manipulation in the arm of the flesh. And the other, he's using the spirit that has not been saved yet to agitate the flesh. And people get divorced. It's all spiritual. Maybe at that time you didn't see it. Maybe at that time you did not have this knowledge. Now you have it. All life is spiritual, including marriage. All life is spiritual, including divorce. All life is spiritual, including addiction. All life is spiritual, including freedom from addiction. It will balance it now. Hear me. That's why you need to come in repentance every day. The presence of the Lord has nothing to do with maturity or immaturity. Every high thing and bringing into captivity every thought. He was speaking in regards to spiritual warfare. 
your mind can fight your own uh, your own blessing you come in the kingdom of light and you come with agendas and you're coming into the house of prayer you need to submit all those agendas in the presence of the Lord and let him lead and let him pray in the inside of you the Spirit of God to pray all those items that you've prayed otherwise you can come one year two years three years four years with an agenda it's not connected to the kingdom will never ever bring the glory to God God will just be hearing and giving you grace to live until you mature until you encounter prophets such as I until you encounter teachings such as tonight you know why because Hannah prayed one year prayed many days prayed 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 gave an offerings brought out a seed did everything just so that God or heaven will answer and break the barrenness heaven was silent all of our prayer was about her and uh, a high thing to show forth to Elkanah and his other wife Penina that I too can give birth oh yes you are laughing before I too I am now pregnant what is it that you are laughing about and because God was getting ready to download a prince ah, in name of in the name of a prophet that will rule in the dimension of the kingdom he put Hannah in the crucible of discipline and was waiting until Hannah prayed and corrected uh, the work of the flesh in the inside of her the motive as to why she prayed the prayer was corrected and then God answered and then God answered suddenly the Bible declared be it unto you according to your desire Eli said may the Lord grant your desire the Bible declared and that night Elkanah knew his wife guess who remembered Hannah God not Elkanah and God remembered Hannah in other words she was praying God had forgotten she was praying the Holy year God had, was, was answering other people including Penina downloading babies every day every week every month you, you need to be careful when you're dealing with a high level pregnancy or with a high uh, 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 postulation of uh, uh, fertility in the sphere of life you don't know what is enabling the enabling factor to that and so you may come as a five gifted man and you're dealing with a, another person that is a one gifted man all of them were given by God and the Bible declared that the master took his journey he took his journey the same Lord is rich unto all I am speaking to you in by the Spirit that there are men and women out here competing with themselves trying to prove a point and they come with that mindset to God and God is waiting with an inventory that will touch his kingdom when you will read and be able to get to know the thoughts and the mind of God regarding your matter and regarding his inclination towards his kingdom your agenda will totally change that's why I don't pray for money. I left that kind of a prayer. I pray, I'm praying kingdom prayers. I'm praying God's prayers. I don't pray for money. Because I realize it's a reward. Money is a reward really. Oh yes, to solving problems. It is a reward to honor. It is a reward to dealing with the things of the kingdom and the need of the kingdom. Money becomes a reward. And so if I can be able to touch God and his agenda, I am rewarded in the dimension of men with money. I am rewarded in the dimension of men with long life. I am rewarded in the dimension of men with peace and joy and speakable and full of glory. And so the things that men chase after will begin to chase. Is it not what Jesus say? Seek ye first the kingdom. I don't even know why I'm striding into this now. But it looks to me that there's deliverance already occurring, even right now. Even right now. Even right now in people's lives. Alis alima katoske mekentale. Kaima nasova kadidia aitai. 
Help us, Spirit of God. Bind us together. Bind us at the horns of the altar that we may be able to know that we need to cast down imaginations. What is it that we've been imagining? Imagining about salvation and about ministry. Is it camera lights and action? A bling and an entourage? A big house and a big church? Limousines and, and characters that follow us around called protocol. What is it that we have imagined? We've lifted up uh, high things in our lives and we've not exalted thee and thy kingdom. We pull down every stronghold tonight and every thought to the obedience of Christ. Even this night we repent, we turn away, we come to the high place that is called Zion. Come to the high place that is called Zion. We come to the high place that is called Zion. Kados kebek entele, arus kepekus kavadia kaita le maratos. Iman entele kebegos kabrakata tale is a deceived mind. Is a de is a depraved way of thinking. Oh yes, is the either is a is a tool of the enemy, marionetting in the computer that is in the spirit. That's why Paul said, though we walk in our flesh, the enemy is walking in the realm of the flesh. He's in the spirit. But he works better in the realm of the flesh because he's the one that can be able to score, score many points and score men into the realm and the dimension where they can begin to uh, frame themselves with their intellect, frame themselves with their appetites and proclivities and begin to accumulate and accumulate and accumulate and accolades and he knows the appetites of men and so you're pretty. He knows you're a pretty woman, light in complexion, dark in complexion, chocolate, cavy and cavicious, and God has blessed you a little bit here and there, given you a little bit of education. He will come in the bloodline. The thing that brought down all the pretty women that amounted to nothing is coming after. And neme and women that are not hidden in God and have no knowledge of God and not hidden in the government of the Spirit of God, you will find out the characteristic is Jezebelic. They have no idea it is Jezebelic. They figure out they're strong-headed. They go after what it is. They're go-getters. And you see the propelling factor is education system, is the world system where the enemy is there headmaster is the one the CEO is the one propagating that kind of education is making men and women to trivial to trivialize submission trivialize love and trivialize um, the submission to government and submission to the spirit it's like you've been sat under the voice that is speaking the thought that is speaking is a high thing that is why the society is even in the Christian dome the kingdom of men that are called into marvelous light. You find the same things that are happening in the world. You know why? Because of what I'm teaching you to here tonight. We came to pray. Open up your mouth and tell the Lord. I bring into captivity even tonight. I bring into captivity even tonight. Oh yes, I am ready to judge disobedience in my vessel. In me right now. I judge every disobedience. Ah, I will walk in obedience. I lay down the crowns, lay down the accolades, lay down the clapping of hands, lay down uh, first degree, second degree, third degree, lay down prettiness, beauty, lay down money and power. I lay down all crowns tonight. I cast them down at the cross of Jesus. I kisipi tu samante la katoske preketetalia karina ba atalia so that I can be able to judge disobedience when my obedience is complete when my obedience is complete high things high thoughts oh yes that exalt themselves against the knowledge of God you find that in church you find it in families that's why there are more no more testimonies not so many ah uh, people are struggling with things and struggling with vibrations, struggling with methodologies and insidious stuff in their mind can't be able to know what it is. There is an archer in the demonic system, in the demonic world that has found a climate in your father's house and he wants to ruin every girl and every daughter and every man, especially those that have said have come to the kingdom of light and he will begin to come time sensitive, time sensitively. He will come at us a particular season. That is why you need to be guarded. He said, walk and stand therefore having stand having stood therefore stand 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 
He said in Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 1, I will stand upon my watch. I will stand upon my watch to watch over what? The arm of the flesh, to watch over carnality, to watch over strongholds that wants to find a pattern and an expression. Oh yes, in my life. So that I look like that village. Look exactly like the maternal uncle. Look exactly like the paternal uncle. Look exactly like pat the patriarchs of, of the bloodline. You don't even know them. But someone is telling you a story. You look exactly and you behave exactly. And it might not be for the good. It might not even it might even be good. It might be even be good. But it is in the realm of the flesh. Then you become puffed up. You become puffed up. You begin, you begin to put up a high thing. Begin to exalt yourself against the knowledge of God. We pull it down now in the name of Jesus. We pull it down now in the name of Jesus. All accolades we lay at the cross. Oh yes, all appetites, proclivities, weaknesses we lay at the cross. We come to be baptized and to be filled by the Spirit of God. Oh, by fire, by fire, by fire. We burn the work of the flesh by fire. We lay at the crucible of prayer. We hold on to the horns of the altar. In the name of Jesus, there is no more humility now in church. Can't even be taught. Pastors proud, prophets proud, apostles proud, ushers proud, security proud, everybody proud. Can't kneel, can't prostrate, can't hear nobody. They are deep in the spirit, can't be able to be corrected. They have a depth. Oh yes, they are deep, they are deep, they are deep. They walk in the depth. Ah, they know this and they know that, and they know this and they know the other thing. Can't be able to submit. Help me, Spirit of God. I let you in on a secret tonight in the realm of the spirit. Let me let you in on a secret. Paul was arrested by Jesus himself. Light came from the book of Acts 9 all the way. Ah, Jesus speaks to Paul and he said, I am Jesus whom thou persecuteth. I have come that you may have life now. That you may bring people out of darkness, including your own people, the Jews the Gentiles to bring them into marvelous light so that by the remission of their sin through the, the submission to the government of Jesus they might come to salvation and then Jesus almost like turned away from that paradigm and he was on a tangent that day because he came to rescue Paul and to begin a new paradigm with him yet in all of his speaking Jesus, not the Spirit, Jesus didn't be able, was not able to save Paul. Didn't baptize him, didn't give him instructions for ministry. And yet there are men every time they see Jesus. They saw Jesus the other day, they dreamt about angels. They, they were in heaven, they were uh, with Michael, they were with apostles. They are men carrying themselves to be so big be able to listen to another preacher, can't be able to listen to their own mama, can't be able to listen to their own daddy, can't be able to obey parents, even spiritual parents, because they're in depth of spiritual discernment. They walk in a little bit of this and that. Let me help you. Ah, we help ourselves tonight in the realm of the spirit. Mm, he said, go, you will find Ananias. He is my disciple in the city. He will tell you what to do next. I have the wherewithal to tell you, but I have government. I have government in the city. Go and submit yourself there. High things. Find out how many churches you've moved. Check out what it is that has made you move many times. Check out. Is it theology? Is it the pastor? Is it the people of the church? Why is it that you're pointing your finger a lot towards the church? Have you checked within? Could it be there is a high thing that is exalting itself above the knowledge? He said, go to the city, you will find Ananias. He is the governor in the realm of the spirit that has been adjudicated. Oh yes, to deploy legislations on my behalf in that city. Check yourself tonight. 
the Spirit of the Lord help us. May the Spirit of the Lord give us understanding. I heard by the Spirit this afternoon men that are struggling with readiness to obey, struggling with disobedience. Oh yes, not willing to let go of some things. He gave us this opportunity tonight to pray the prayers of transformation upon our eyes and our life and ourselves that we can be in the crucible we can be ready the, the songwriter in the older days said i will follow i choose to follow i am ready i will be somewhere working for my lord that when he calls me i will answer he's calling you and i tonight in the place of prayer that there will be so much willingness because obedience is better than sacrifice obedience is better than sacrifice obedience is better than sacrifice open up your mouth and tell the lord i am willing to obey I am willing to obey. I put my thoughts under subjection. I put my inadequacies, my proclivities, my pride. Oh yes, my joy. I lay down my agendas. I come after thee in thy agenda. I come after thee in thy agenda for my family, for my life. Oh yes, I surrender it all. All. All to Jesus. All to Jesus. I lay it at the altar. I choose to follow. I choose to follow. Oh yes, I have needs. I have things to tell you even tonight regarding what it is that I want to see done. But I surrender. I give myself away as a living sacrifice. As a living sacrifice. I don't want to be on the road. Ah, God, I got my mind. I don't want to be on the road on the highway of deception. Thinking really I am saved, born again, working in somewhere for God. And I'm highly deceived, highly disobedient, having no understanding that it's been imputed on me. That my imagination should be worked and always thinking ah, about in the realm of the flesh. Every good idea is not a God idea. Every good thought is not a God thought. You must locate in the allocation of your thoughts the God thought. The God thought. The God thought. Malika so kabrantele. Imanus imikantele kabaradus alaga. Kedente kina 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 kina. Though we walk in the flesh, we are not wrestling. We are wrestling. We are at war, yes. But not after the order of the flesh. That is why that thing never worked. That is why the solution never came. Because you went after it to prove a point. You went after it to massage your ego. You went after it to steal the show. You went after it to prove a point. And the Lord lifted up his countenance off of you. He left you to your own derision. He left you to your own antics. You went after the deal on your own. Never subscribe to the government of the spirit. What it is that he was talking to you at night, even in the morning, to tell you, cancel it. Uh, to tell you, call the man of God. Call your pastor. A uh, share. But because it was a good deal, some enough money that was coming in the pike, you figured I will talk when I have evidence in my hands. I will talk when the money is lying in, my, in your account. And you never knew that the enemy the enemy was sent at night and that you needed to cast down imagination and to pull down strongholds that are uh, bedeviled men in your father's house that after some time when they reach out at the crucible of blessing at the threshold and, uh, and near their syndrome will rise up and you needed spiritual backup that night but that devil deceived you oh yes just like Ananias and Sapphira was it not yours when it was in your hands why did you lie to the spirit? It does not just apply to money, it applies to our lives. It applies to night. It applies to everything regarding our lives. Was it not yours before you showed up at the altar? Pray, open up your mouth, and tell the Lord, I submit myself to the governance of the Spirit. I lay down at the altar. I bring into captivity every thought and every high thing that I've lifted in my life. 
in my life false hope false humility meekness that has been confused to be humility and you are too proud to know ah help me give me new lenses new lenses to understand what ministry is i have held back my money held back profits held back stuff because i have decided uh, that my life is become a high thing my children have become a high thing my life oh yes this is my money my money my 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 it's become a high thing and in this kingdom they are only stewards no owners only stewards if you get to get to the place where you will command wealth you will command wealth you will command money that i promise you you will you will get there but you've got to die die to wealth die 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 to ambition die to proving points die 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 to appetites that concern money and wealth die to appetites to 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 pro uh, to proclivities to prove a point when the Lord Jesus Christ sees that that carcass is on his cross, you are ready. He will be ready because it is the promise of the Father. It is the desire of the Father to give you the kingdom. It is the desire of the King of the Father to give you the kingdom. It is the desire of the Father to give you the kingdom. He said of the rich young ruler, I have known these laws from my childhood. I went to Sunday school, sir. I know the scripture. I've been fasting since I was this and that. Oh, I've been praying. I know Apostle so-and-so, Prophet so-and-so. I've been in their broadcast. I've been in their church. I have sown this and this and that and this and this. I have known this since I was here. But then Jesus turned and tells him, Now, now that you know all this, go and sow. Go and sow again. Sell everything and go sow it out. Then follow me. Bible declared he left dejected because he was a man that had much substance. You want to command depth of wealth, depth of revelation, humility is the key. You need to die many debts to ambition. That is why we've we, we don't tell you many things prophetically. We don't come in the accuracy of the word. We don't come in that word. Because we don't want to be misconstrued and put up a name. And the most accurate, the most mightiest, the most this and the most that is a high place. It's become a high thing. It's a high place. It's become a high thing. We are stealing the shore off of Jesus. Stealing the glory off of Jesus stealing the glory off of our lives your life is a testimony the money is a steward it needs to be stewarded because you're a steward the children are not yours they belong to god is a reward of the pattern of relationship that he himself instituted oh yes that is why they have to be dedicated back to god everything you have is actually borrowed tb joshua said the prophet man of god oh yes everything you actually have has been borrowed from him in him we live in him we move in him we have our being yes it is not enough to say i am a testimony and you are the opposite of what it is that is expecting you to be it's not enough to say i am born again we love the lord and i am humble we are humble to the no 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 oh yes it is action it is the method it is the idea it is the thought that god judges it is the motive oh yes it's the motive it's the motive it is the motive you go to an art collector and you go to an art museum you don't judge the artist you judge the art in judging the art you are judging the artist you paint or you go and look at a paint you don't see the artist but you see the motive whether it's Mona Lisa whether it is a, 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 a Rembrandt, a, a Humbrandt, or a, a, a whatever artist that drew it, when you see that, if it's a Rembrandt, you can be able to know. You can be able to know because you can go right into the mind, the thought that created it. Tell the Lord, purge me. Purge me tonight. Purge me. Release me into the kingdom. I don't want to look from afar like the rich with Lazarus. Purge me from things. Purge me from appetites. Purge me. Purge me from pride. Purge me, I bow. I bow, I kneel. 
You gotta kneel, kneel. You gotta sub, uh, sub, uh, prostrate, prostrate. You gotta walk, walk. You gotta stamp your feet, stamp your feet. Whatever it is that you do, tell the Lord, purge me. Purge me. In him we live. In Him we have our being. I come, I come, I come, standing in the need of prayer. Deal with me in this hour. Deal with my soul. Deal with my flesh. Deal with my appetites. Deal with my proclivities. Deal with this anger. Deal with it. Ah, I nail it to your cross. For the weapons of my warfare are not carnal. I can't use carnality to cast out carnality. I can't use intellect to cast out spirit. I can't be able to control my anger and my replies and, 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 and the kind of way that I deal with disputes and the kind of way that I deal when men cross my path. I throw words anyhow. I am angry. I want to be justified. I want to look important. Oh yes, I want to look important. I want to look, I want to justify that I was right. Oh yes, the crucible, the thing that is moving, that is flesh. Bury it now. Bury it. Bury it. You don't have to win every argument. Oh, there is too many short, many days to win. Many days to win an argument. Your life is too short to answer every foolishness. Your life is too short. Alikasko prakaske freketetale. Manto sama kabarasko bakatatale. He said the axe has been laid at the root of the tree. At the root of the tree. The fruits that need to come out of that tree are the fruits of the spirit. That can enable the kingdom of God to find expression. We are a ministry that is built and anchored on kingdom. We teach the kingdom. That is why this prayer and these items are like this. They are all targeting the Christ and his office. That he may find expression in our lives. I don't know about any other gospel apart from what I teach you. I don't know what it is that you've been taught somewhere else, but it is if it is the message and the gospel of this kingdom that he left for us, then this prayer will be prayed. This prayer will be prayed. He's looking for men and women. He's looking for men and women that he can touch. He's looking for men and women because there is a devil out there that is working out 24 hours. He's not going to retire. He's going to work methodos, methodologies, logismai, legismos. He will use every insidious plan to make sure the plan of God does not work in your life. He will delay you, frustrate you over this mountain, make you like the children of Israel, paramulate in one area. Oh yes, getting killed and their carcasses thrown out in the wilderness. Never ever getting into destiny. Never ever giving God the glory. Psalm 105, the Bible declared when they were but few people, when they were but strangers in the land, he suffered no man to do them wrong. He rebuked kings for their sake, saying, Touch not my anointed one, do my prophets no harm. They were all God's people. They were embedded in Jacob's loins. They came out, three and a half million of them. They were all God's children. And yet he killed each and every one of them, of that generation that never ever came to the place of what it is that we are dealing with in the realm of the Spirit in the New Testament. We are better off we have the Holy Ghost. We are better off we have the blood of Jesus shed. Oh yes, for us. You can obtain mercy tonight. We can obtain grace tonight. We can obtain grace to overcome. Because Jesus died and he resurrected. They didn't have Jesus. They had him in typology. And yet by faith they were justified. Every high thing. Ah, let the fruit of the spirit, the fruit of the spirit. 
spirit be, ba be bathed out of me. He's looking for men and women that he can use in these last days. He said the harvest is plenty, the workers are few. He's looking for men. He's looking for men that he can recruit to speak truth to power. He's looking for men that he can be able to trust with platforms, high F level platforms. Oh yes, oh yes. He's looking for men that can give him the glory, can build him and him. Thank you, Father. He paid it all for you and I, that we can walk in victory. And so in the name that is above every other name, we release ourselves to the government of the Spirit of God tonight. We ask that the Holy Spirit have a free course, begin to do and to deal with us in the inside of us. And every tree that does not bear fruit, and every seed that was not planted by you, we cast it off tonight. We cast it off tonight. We cast away the works of darkness. We cast it off of our lives. Off of our lives. It will not find expression. We forbid it from operation. We forbid it from being planted. We forbid it from having a harvest. We kill that tree. Just like in the days of Jesus, he cast the tree, the fig tree, that had no fruit on it. In the name of Jesus. I hear in the realm of the Spirit an instruction even as we pray for all of us to get an offering and to get a sacrifice right now. It might be your offering actually. But you can put in the place where there is pain. Even now, just get a special offering, I will call it. And tell the Lord, while I plant this, I plant this, I plant that, I plant this one that I do not want to see. It's called the law of seed faith. You can bury the thing that you do not want by sacrifice, which is called a seed. Everybody, everywhere, we're in the midst of prayer. But I want you to take that now. Get that instruction, obey quickly. As I am obeying also, I katoske prekatatali and bari anger, bari issues, bari subliminal thoughts, bari addictions, bari addiction to porn, or bari addiction, or to things, or oh, bari things for your children, bari bari by your seed. Get get it out and tell the Lord you are dealing with me. I come in the volume of the book in obedience to your word. I pull down this stronghold, this imagination. I take even if it is the last widow's might. I take this offering as I subscribe to the governance of your spirit as it has been taught me right now. I bury this issue. I don't want a harvest of it every day. I don't want a harvest of it right now. I don't want a harvest of it in my father's house. I don't want a harvest of it in my life. I come to be a different kind of them. Everybody, everywhere. Home and abroad. Home and abroad. Salima no mosh alima rateske breketetelia. Kebe dudurubu ush amantelia. Then kapatuske breketetelia. Get a special offering. Oh yes, and tell the Lord, uh uh, uh uh. It will not be so. In the beginning, it was not so. I cast off the work of darkness. By this, I know. By this, I know that you've had me. By this, I know that you've had me. By this, I know that you've had me. Show me a token for God for good in the land of the living. Show me a token for good in Zion. Show me a token for good in my father's house. Show me a token for good in ministry. Show me a token for good in my character. I want to change. I want to change. I want to change. I don't want to hear whispers of the enemy. Oh yes, I don't want to deal in the dimension of the flesh. I cast it off. I cast it off. Then cast your seed now. Cast your seed now. Cast your seed now. The ministry number is there. The website is there. Cast your seed now. Cast your seed now. Cast your seed now. Too wonderful for comprehension. That is an instruction I just heard. Oh, like nothing ever seen. Oh, especially all of us are struggling with stuff. 
yesterday, today, and forever. My God is able to do exceedingly abundantly. Wait on him. 
wear on him. He's coming to town and he will come to show off and to show out. He will make thy life a testimony. Wear on him. Wear on him. You will not go empty in this city. You will not go empty in this country. You will not go empty in your country where you are. Oh yeah, the city will yield for you, will yield to you. The ground will yield for you. It will bring, I cast out the works of darkness. I bring about a change of name, a change of location. And I decree and declare the curse of the vagabond, the curse of illegitimacy that has he that will found expression in your father's house, in your life. Right now, in the name of Jesus, by Yeshua and by the blood of his covenant, I decree and declare you are cut out from that curse. You are a different kind of them. You will obtain. You will run the race and finish. Oh yes, this near, near, near syndrome, near evidence, near results, near blessing, near opportunity, nearly married, nearly engaged, nearly loved. We decree and declare that peace, the spirit, out now, in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare everything pending to you will come to you. It will wait until you show up. God is the God of seasons. In the time of life, Lady Han, in the time of life, he shall visit thee. In the time of life, he shall visit thee. He's bathing something in the inside of many people here tonight. It will come to be that in the coming of days, you shall have evidence. Blessed is she that believeth. Because there shall be evidence. There shall be a performance of those things that told her, that are told her from the Lord. We ask this in the name of Jesus. We ask this in the name of Jesus. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. We give you glory tonight. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. We come to the end of that now. Keep praying according to the grace God has given you. Go and break your fast now. Do whatever it is that you need to do. Celebrate. Get ready for tomorrow. By the grace of God. Been your host, Prophet John Haggai. I, together, and the first lady. We love you to life. We always say it here if it is not God we serve, then we serve nothing at all. Until I come your way by the grace of God tomorrow, morning at 10 3 p.m. in the afternoon, according to the instruction of the Spirit. And in that night, a time like this, we surely hope you've been blessed with the grace of our Lord Jesus and the love of God, fellowship of the Spirit of God be with you all and tonight and even those who are abroad now according to the jurisdiction of time that you are under be with us now and forevermore Amen and Amen Amen and Amen It is so in Jesus name Love you to life until we come our way your way tomorrow by the grace of God Good night everybody Amen and amen. Inkadurubu Shai.